If you're looking to automatically blog on a WordPress site, I have the plugin for you. It's called the WP Auto Blog, and right now they have a special deal going on, so you want to check it out. It's by far the easiest plugin to use to auto blog via AI. So let's go check this out right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, it's WP Auto Blog, and right now it's a lifetime deal. It's only 39 bucks, and you get 25 articles per month. Now, if you need more articles, go ahead and jump into plan two or three. Now, these will renew every month because it's a lifetime deal and you get access to 2000 word long articles that are going to be written every single time these articles are triggered and it's unlimited websites connected and you get access to 500 keyword searches per month and support 35 languages. Now, before I show you how to use the BP auto blog, I am going to show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. If you're looking for a shared hosting plan like the one, like the one I'm using right now for this demo, go ahead and check out Hostinger. Now there's a special discount coupon code that I want to show you. Now check out that link in the description, jump over to hosting, web hosting, and in web hosting, you're gonna see the plans that they have available right now. If you grab the most popular one, which is 369 a month, go ahead and add it to cart, but there's an extra discount coupon code. Well, once you're here, you wanna select the amount of months that you wanna lock in the price for. First off, I would recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, the lowest renewal price, and you're set to go for 48 months. Now, the price for that is going to be $177 with 12 cents. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $159 with 41 cents. So way cheaper. Now, let's jump into WP Auto Blog and show you how to actually use it. Now, this is the main panel. And the first thing you got to do is connect your website. It's extremely easy to connect your website. If you add a website link right here, Go ahead and add the login link to your WordPress site. Once you connect, it's going to jump into the WordPress site. You're going to log in and it's going to say, yes, allow WP auto block. And that's all you have to do. Now, in case you have a security plugin, you will need to whitelist the IP address that WP auto block provides. But aside from that, it's super easy to connect. Now to get started and start auto posting, go into post scheduler. And what you have to do is add keywords right here, depending on your niche and what you have, if you want, what you want to post and you're good to go. So in this case, let me just go ahead and repeat some of these that I am going to use for keywords. You can use keywords or titles. And in this case, I'll use these two. You can select titles from here. In this case, my site is in Spanish. You can select from one of the 30, 35 languages available here. You can schedule posts to do it immediately or do it every hour, every day, every four weeks. And that means that from this list, if I set it to a week, it's gonna set one week, two weeks, three weeks, every week depending on how many you have right here. So if you have a hundred keywords there, it's going to take a hundred weeks or a hundred days or whatever you set it there. Then you got your category. In this case, this is my category, the website. If you have several websites, just select the website you want to post this to internal links. Yes, this is going to cross link into the links that you have already, which is a good thing, which is link building second image. Yes. If you don't want one, just go ahead and turn it off. Key takeaways. Yes. Tables. Yes. YouTube video. No. At frequently asked questions. No. Depending on the type of content, you might want tables or not. Maybe you want videos. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want frequently asked questions, depending if it's for something. I don't know. Maybe it's for a, a page and not a blog post. You can go ahead and download the doc and use that for a page. Advanced settings. Disable image upload. No, you do want to upload it in case you don't. Just go ahead and set it, set it to no. Additional links to place in the article if you want to use a different link and additional keywords. Once that is ready, go ahead and create articles and boom, it's going to get working and it's going to take three to four minutes to generate these articles. And in this case, since I said it to immediately, it's going to automatically post it and it's going to do it immediately. Now you have the option when you connect your site to post automatically or to set it as draft. If you want to be pretty precautious, you want to set it to draft. And if you are just good to go, just go ahead and ask publish. Once that's ready, you're going to be waiting a few minutes here and you're going to be viewing your blog post here. In this case, let's go ahead and view this article. You can download the doc if you want to edit it, but let's go ahead and view it. And this is how it's going to look. So we got the image here. In this case, the, the language is in Spanish. Here's the table that it generated and it's telling me about the tip, different type of coffees and secondary image and more information. A 2000 word blog post just created right here automatically. So this is the easiest way you're going to auto blog with AI for WordPress. No fancy kind of things, no weird setups, no complex options. It's just really easy and straightforward. They also have the key keyword search here. If you want to search for keywords, if you just don't know what keywords to use over there on the keyword system to generate out of box, go ahead and search 
the keywords here that you want to search for and it'll give you a list so it's super easy to use now remember it's on a lifetime deal and if you want to grab a shared hosting plan i do recommend hostinger remember if you use my coupon code sasbaster the price is going to drop to 159 dollars with 41 cents so do use the coupon code if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan and that's a wrap for wp auto blog 